Hi, this is going to be a brief tutorial on how to make a graph containing a line of best fit for uh, data using Google Sheets. Google Sheets is the um, is part of the Google Docs suite, uh, and it is the Microsoft Excel clone within that. So, um, so when you open this up, uh, you'll have all these individual little spaces. These are called cells. Um, they're identified by their letter and number. Um, so this cell here where I've typed time is A1, the one below it is A2, etc. Okay, so I've already in column A entered some, and B entered some data. Let's say we were doing a physics experiment and we have some time and distance data. It does matter which one you put in first. The one you put in the first column or the A column is going to be graphed on the x-axis. Remember the x-axis is the horizontal axis. And then whatever you graph on uh, whatever you type into column B is going to get graphed on the y-axis, the vertical axis. Um, if, you've got, if you know what I mean by this, uh, usually your independent variable goes in A and your dependent variable goes in B. You may not have covered that yet, depending on what you're doing this for. Okay, anyway, we just want to make some graphs. So what we're going to do is we're going to select um, our data by, you're going to click on this first cell, and you're going to drag and select um, all of the data, all right? And then you're gonna go to insert and select chart. So insert chart. The default chart looks like this. Uh, annoyingly, it's not really what we want most times in science. Um, these line charts um, make it hard for us to see what's going on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna scroll down until we get to scatter. So we always wanna use a scatter graph in, or chart as um, Sheets calls it, uh, in a scientific setting, all right? So that's going to, and notice here that um, Sheets is telling us that the A column is our x-axis, um, and then where it says series, that's all the things that are getting graphed on the y-axis. You can do multiple series at once if you need to. Okay, anyway, um, we're now going to go to customize and <clears throat> series. And we're going to go down here to Format Data Point, um, and we're going to tap here to add a trend line. And then the important thing is that we need a label. We need to be able to see what the equation is, not just where the line is. So go down here to Label and say Use Equation. All right, and we want to always show R squared. R squared is a measure of how straight the line is, or how close the data points are to the line. So the closer it is to one, the closer R squared is to one, the closer our data points are to the line. Because I, you know, made this data up, it's almost perfect. Your data from lab probably won't be. So anyway, the key thing here is that when you tap on trend line, it puts the equation up here. And this is what we're going to be using in most applications for linear data. Um, the 2.14 uh, is our, uh, so this is in the form of y equals mx plus b. So, um, or I guess in this case, mx plus b. So uh, 2.14 is our slope, that's our m value. We know that because it's multiplied by the x. And then um, 0.0476 is our b value, our intercept uh, for our line of best fit. So most of the time when we're trying to get data uh, graphed and into a linear fashion, the key thing we need is the equation. So putting this label on here it, under customize is the most important thing that, um, that we're looking for. All right, hope this is helpful. Uh, feel free to leave a comment uh, if there are other things I could do to make it more helpful. All right, thanks.